Hello again everyone, this is Zombie Kids Rule and I'm back with another Steam Deck uh, gameplay video. And again, this one's not going to be a demo. Um, this is, I don't think it's a demo, actually I have to double check. Um, this is Mage's Initiation uh, Reign of the Elements. It is a point and click game. I've, I've had, when I, was, I first started doing 1x player videos, I had some people ask, you know, hey, about point and click games, how do point and click games go? And honestly, they seem to play pretty good because it's just usually there's an in-game mouse that you move with the trackpad or the joystick so um, let's see it is un whoops what does, what's going on hey um, it is unknown according to valve and uh, let's see it's from 2019 so January 2019 Himalaya Studios so it's it's been out for a little while um, store page is let's see so by you know, I don't know if I if I don't think this is a demo. Um, I don't I yeah, if I bought it, it would have been on sale. Uh, so let's see. Uh, it's very positive, eighty nine percent of seventy nine. So there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot. Uh, no, it it is in my library, so uh, I own this. Um, it is not. Uh, there's not a ton of reviews, but Ma Mage's Initiation Reign of the Elements. It is a point and click game. Uh, I did test it out quickly, and I, it seems to work perfectly fine. So this says, um, play with OpenGL in a window, play with OpenGL in full screen. So I'm going to do full screen. And uh, it did take me a tiny bit to figure out what was going on. Um, to figure out the, the controls, it takes me a little bit, bit to get used to. But um, I, 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 I'm pretty sure this plays fine. It is voiced. <clears throat> so it's got some pretty pretty good sound effects and stuff and like I said I usually don't play um, with the sound up anyway uh, it is an in you know mouse game so you have a pointer inside the game uh, use your trackpad to move around use your uh, right joystick if you really wanted to to move around I'm gonna turn the soundtrack down uh, we've got new game restore game options and exit so uh, we'll use the right trigger to select um, music volume, speech volume, sound volume. So again, uh, the character does your character that you're playing does talk to you. Uh, speech text, and this is another thing I really appreciate that when you hover over things, it tells you what they do. I, I really do appreciate that. Um, hide show dialogue text when character speech audio plays. Disabling this enables voice only mode. Uh, Actually, enabling this allows voice only mode. Actually, I want to see speech text. Hide show text when character speech, whatever. Um, Tooltip uh, bar, hide show the uh, hotspot name bar. And I don't know. Clicking, I guess, it activates it? I don't know. Disabling this. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Disabling this enables voice only mode. Okay, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. Um, page turning, disable page turning am animations when changing between tabs, footsteps, dis enable disable footsteps, um, mouse cursor spell sparkles, able, enable disable mouse cursor sparkles when hovering over locations where valid spells can be cast. Oh, <clears throat> so you could, you could uh, get rid of that. Uh, save, load, quit, control style, uh, you have a compact interface, a horizontal bar appears when the mouse move. no, that's a different one drop-down icon bar. Uh, basically, when you move to the top of the screen, it pulls down options for you. Uh, verb coin, so uh, that is a circular interface appears at the current mouse position when the left mouse button is held down. Various interface buttons will perform uh, different actions. And then compact interface, a condensed interface appears at the current mouse position when the screen is right-clicked. Various interface buttons can be clicked, um, and I usually use drop-down because that way I can just go up, it shows me what I need to do, <clears throat> and uh, and then I can select. Uh, combat option, options, adjust key bindings, invert the mouse, and adjust other combat specific options. You have combat difficulty, so you can uh, move that up and down. Right now it's set on, on the middle. Uh, combat options, so you, you do have your key bindings, so you... Again, if you don't want to navigate the options in the game with the mouse, which is what I do most of the time, on mouse and keyboard games, I almost never use the hotkeys um, on mouse and keyboard games. I just use the mouse. But you can. You, you could do it. 
Uh, so WSAD for movement up, down, move left and right. There's cast, use health potion, use mana potion, cycle target left, cycle target right, uh, pick up, spell one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, pause, uh, auto targeting, uh, invert mouse, pause during spell select, restore defaults, um, GUI uh, uh, opacity, and I'm just going to leave all that. Okay, so you've got some choices. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. The game offers several uh, gameplay interfaces. Select the one you wish to use. Um, you can change this later from in-game setting. This is where you do the icon bar or not. Uh, I'm going to do icon bar. Uh, tip, press the escape key when walking or running to arrive instantly at your destination. We all have a beginning. A moment that changes us, shapes us into who we are. For some, it is a quiet turn, planned ushered in with precision. For others, it is a sharper twist of fate, leaving scars that never heal. For most, these moments are endured, accepted, even forgotten, while there are those who struggle to forgive, to forget. And there are some, just a few, who pass through the fire, wanting more. I know my I know where it will take me. It will fall to me, Dark, the mightiest of mages, to face my demons and save Eliwold. I summon you, fiend of the lower world. Rise and face your bane. Dark, wake up! You can daydream after your initiation. The Masters are waiting for you in the Hallowed Hall. Okay. All right. So, um, I, I honestly, I do appreciate the voice, uh, the, the, the voice of discussion. Uh, most of the games I play don't have that. And uh, I know some people, you know, they criticize that, uh, you know, however it's done. I, I personally, I think this is, is pretty cool. So, I have my little character uh, on the screen here. It looks like a walking icon. Um, when you go up to the top, now here's that pull-down icon menu. So you can select the walk-run, you can select the look, uh, interact, talk, uh, equipment, inventory, uh, character screen, and then game options. So um, we'll go back up here and we'll see our character screen. So again, variety of things here. Uh, it tells you who you are, your level, your experience, what you need for next level, strength, magic, intelligence, constitution, I have zero and everything, points to allocate, uh, money, armor, venom, health, and mana. And then on the side, there. this is my stats. Uh, and again, every time you hover over, well, when you hover over certain things, it tells you in the middle of the screen what it does, which is really great. Uh, inventory panel. Uh, so if you had inventory, right, and then you have your allows manipulation or usage of inventory items, allows selection of inventory items, and then uh, click OK. Equip. So again, I have my equipable items. I have my attributes. Um, this is reveals the uh, scroll of identify, right? So you have a uh, uh, reveals the properties of unidentified gems and artifacts. Requires base uh, three intelligence. Uh, let's see spells. And then so you have your table of spells, base spells, combat spells. Um, of course, I don't know anything yet. <clears throat> and then of course your settings and uh, you know. Uh, we'll see. We're going to get out of that. Go back up here. Uh, and, you, of course, you have your individual settings thing. And then you have your inv individual inventory, right? So you can get to it all once you open this, it looks like. Uh, or you can individually select equipment, right? And then, of course, in the game, I can talk, I can interact, I can look, and I can walk. So I'm going to go ahead and look first. One of four doors to the mage's tower. And then it stays on the look, so I don't have to change it. I mean, I can look over here. The path connects the mage's tower to the rest of the valley. Okay, and I'll be honest with you, I don't play a lot of point-and-click games. Rocks form a natural <laughs> boundary here. <laughs> Unless the earth mages had something to do with it. So you can click on a lot of things. Let's see what the tree says. It's an ordinary tree. <laughs> He's probably going to get mad at me. Let's see, look at myself. It's me. 
dark. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I find some of this uh, enjoyable. I haven't. I like I said, I don't play point and click games. At the bottom of the hill lies the township of Iganor. Okay, all right. So now we're gonna stop there. Uh, for I mean, for that part. And I don't have anybody to talk to. Um, so we're gonna walk. I'm gonna click over here. Now this this is where um, this caused me a little bit of issue. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to get in. Um, you can also walk with your D-pad, so to some degree, right? So I am using the D-pad. You can also use the um, the uh, joystick, right? Uh, to some degree, this is not really um, this is not the best way to do it. Okay, so uh, it it doesn't seem to work great as far as walking goes. Uh, the D-pad again. I'm using it. I'm using the joystick, but it doesn't really work best. It's it's better to just point and click. So I'm just going to point and click. I'm going to get up here, and then um, I had a hard time trying to figure out how to get in. So I'm going to go up here and let's interact. The door is ajar. Bort has set the combination dial to Shadow Earth Shadow. Okay, and then it lets me in. I, I tried to walk through, and I couldn't walk through. <laughs> it's a good thing I found you, Dark. It's not like I can check the records all, and my finder amulet doesn't work anymore. Okay. Now, um, so this is curious. So, like, for instance, right now I'm on the, uh, I'm on the interact thing, right? And I don't know what to do, so I tried to click on people. That would contravene any number of tower rules, depending on the intent. <laughs> so clicking on people tells you, uh, you shouldn't do that. That would contravene any number of tower rules, depending on the intent. Uh, so let's click on this paper. The board has placed a protective aura over everything readable. I cannot take a single page without permission. Yeah, so, so you can click on things, and of course you can uh, look, right? So let's look. It appears to be an incantation for growing a pine cone out of your head. This was fashionable in Dominatra about five years ago. It is a book of mages, past and present. Okay, so now uh, I gotta figure out what I'm doing, so I'm gonna talk. Nervous? You should be. Just don't be late like I was, unless you want to repeat a whole year. Good luck! Okay, and then it opens up your dialogue option. So, I can talk about Records Hall, Finder Amulet, hallowed, uh, Hallowed Hall Combination, See You Later. Only a select few are allowed in there, outside of the Masters. It was established to keep track of hall traffic, so that the less frequented halls could be removed. It's a handy little trinket, let me tell you. Though I wouldn't use it to keep track of someone you're interested in. They don't seem to like that. Or, or so I've heard. Anyhow, mine hasn't worked since its magical emerald faded. It's a special kind of large gemstone, said to be blessed by the elements. There aren't many like it. I got mine from the green cap goblins. Why don't you just go back to their camp and ask for another one? I would, but... You're comfortable here. There is that. Also, there's no way I could find their camp again without them wanting me to, or without using... Which doesn't... You see my... So you, and of course you can click through the dialogue, so you can skip through it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back to, let's see, Hallowed Hall Combination. I don't know the combination. Water, air, earth. Okay. Water, air, earth. Now, I discovered something interesting here. So, water, air, earth. I'm going to try to remember that. I prefer not to disrupt this mage's routine. So the nice thing is the game. I shouldn't interrupt another mage's studies. Th this game kind of directs you. It like it says, you know, you you can do, you can click on anything you want, uh, you know, per se. But if you're not supposed to, you know, it'll it'll give you warnings. Now I'm gonna go over here to this. So actually, let's let's take a look around first. So uh, let's look at the staircase. The staircases lead to a pair of alcoves which contain. More books. A door. <laughs> a door? A door. <laughs> I love that. And then look at this book. It is a book of mages, past and present. Yeah, 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 but actually, let's interact with it. 
Yeah, alumni of patronage. So I, 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 did, I didn't follow this. I don't know if this was uh, like the people who either contributed or maybe Kickstarter or something. I don't know. Uh, but it does look like just a list of names, and you can scroll through. Uh, that's a long list, right? So uh, I, I think that's kind of cool. Um, that, that, that's pretty awesome. So I'm going to close that. And then, uh, let's see, it said it's a door, so let's use interact. He walks over, and I have to remember my combination. Now, I forgot my combination already, uh, which I is fine. I need to enter a combination for the hall I want to visit. Then press the gem in the center. So, it's telling me what to do. Now, I have to choose, right? Now, the first time, I couldn't remember what it was, so I chose wrong. So, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, Pick three random things, which I know are not right. No, no, I not rock. Blah, are not right. So you go into a hall, but you don't get to where you want to be. Oops! I'd better go back to where I came from. <laughs> so it does tell you. Uh, so there are other doorways, but you can click down here, and it'll take you back. Uh, reading hall. So I'm going to select the reading hall. Thank God I didn't know the combination. What was the combination again? There we go. Water, air, earth. Water, air, earth. So the game's smart enough to, to help you out automatically. Water, air, earth. Let's try it again. Okay, so water. So when you hover over it, it does tell you up at the very top, up here. It says close dial right now. But So water, air, earth. And then click the gem. And it opens up, and in I go. Welcome, Initiate. You have trained long and hard under our roof. Your element has chosen you well. Already, your time as a novice is drawing to a close. Soon you will demonstrate mastery over your power. The time has come to claim your element. Before you begin, you must affirm that which has chosen you. Thoughts reflect your nature and your element alike. Respond carefully. You see an old woman lost in the market quarter. She appears confused and begs you to help her. So then you get, you get choices. Um, ask her for directions just for fun. Assess her condition and determine her identity. Insist she remi remember who she is and what happened. Comfort her and offer to walk her home. So you get a variety of choices. Pick whichever one you think is best. So I'm going to pick comfort her and offer to walk her home. A fight breaks out in the local tavern. The barkeep looks to you for help. Attack the instigator. There's always collateral. Try to break it up. Clear the tavern of innocent bystanders. Place a bet on who's going to win. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna clear the tavern of innocent bystanders. The giftless or non-mages are deserving of the elements' blessings, a potential threat to nature, a stra strange creatures with curious habits, a necessary ecological component. Uh, so again, you just have to pick what's best, and we'll say uh, necessary ecological component. What is magic for? So, developing a greater understanding of the world, aiding those in need, leaving your mark, doing whatever you please. Hmm. <laughs> so, let's say developing a greater, uh, let's say aiding others. Why not? A man lies on the side of the street, moaning. You fear he may have contracted violet fever. Disregard his distracting vocalizations. Inspect the man and report your findings. Calm him and send for a healer. Mercifully end his suffering. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> let's uh, let's calm him and send for a healer. Your responses. You have demonstrated an affinity with the water. Do you agree with this assessment, Initiate? So agree or disagree. Now, if I disagree, which I did last time because I didn't read, I just randomly selected. Um, you, you, it does allow you to pick your element. So you can go through this, and then if you don't like what it says, 
you know, you, you can actually pick your specific element. So I'm just going to go ahead and agree. Uh, you know what? Now let's disagree. Then affirm now the element that has chosen you. And you get earth, uh, fire, earth, water, and air, which these people seem to be um, symbols of, right? So probably water, uh, blue water, green earth, probably um, orange fire, whatever this lady is, air, most likely looks like maybe white. I can't tell, but it, but it does. They do have symbols actually on their uh, their robes too, so that's kind of cool. I'm gonna go ahead and pick air, like it said. I mean water. Sorry, water. You have affirmed your commitment to the water. Your thoughts become fluid, and each drop sees your wisdom rise. You may request your first gifts from the sphere of knowledge. Ah. <laughs> to earn the title of your kindred, you must fulfill three tasks. Your first awaits across the lake upon Lone Island. There you will find a banished priestess, her beauty rivaled only by her cunning and treachery. Take but a lock of her hair. Your second lies within the valley of our closest mountains, where our winged guardians keep watch over the town. Most prized are their griffin's eggs. Return with one. The forest conceals your final task. Many beings and beasts dwell there, most with laws of their own. Bring back the horn of a trinacorn. A warning. The townspeople are tolerant of our magic, yet care little for it. Pass by them as the gentlest breeze, and leave them to their small affairs. Go now, focus on your tasks. You have until the new day dawns. Farewell, young novice. May your deeds ensure you a place in the memory of others. Elements guide you. Boy, that doesn't seem like a lot of time. <laughs> I have like a day. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I could, in theory, look at them. I could probably talk to them and bother them. Uh, what is this? That is a torch stand, earth flame, uh, air flame. What is this? Air flame. This is water flame. Come here, water. Let's walk over to the water. See what happens. Do I have? Do I claim something? Let's see. How about use? Interact. Oh no, no. no let's walk. Let's look. Look at the water. Flame of water. I shall pretend that makes sense. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's look at one of these people. The four masters of the mage's tower. They keep largely to themselves. I have had little to do with them. Mm, let's see what a banner says. Four banners. Four elements. Coincidence? <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can interact with this thing. It gives off a coldness. Apparently not. Uh, okay, so let me get out of here. And then... Is that how I exit? I don't know. I haven't got this far. I haven't played farther than this. Uh, oh, there we go. So uh, it pops back up. Mage's Tower Exterior Reading Hall Dark's Private Hall Hallowed Hall. You know, let's go to our private hall. Let's see what our bedroom's like. Oh, look at it. It's a bedroom. So, and then, you know, again, you could click on all, you know, you can, what is that? You can click on all these things, look around. Um, I'm quite partial to this depiction. <laughs> that one, oh, I think it's a girl. I think it's a girl holding a rod or something. Um, so, all my worldly worth. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna stop there. But again, you do have, uh, you know, you you have your walk, run, you have your look, your interact, your talk, uh, inventory, equipment, uh, you know, equipment, inventory, your character, your settings, and essentially this is how you you interact. You you use your in-game um, mouse pointer with the trackpad or the joystick. You can use the D-pad or the um, left joystick to to move, but it's not really that it doesn't work that well. Um, and you could set up some of those um, like inventory or character or you know talk or a thing. You could set those up with buttons, but again, I. I wouldn't. I'm going to play through this, and uh, I will do it just with the controls 
uh, I, I'm using right now. Um, so go ahead and go to settings. Oh, there we go. Down here at the bottom. Save, load, quit. I am going to just quit because I'm not sure I want to uh, continue the way I started. Uh, but so I'm going to quit. Exit game. Yes or no? Yes. So uh, again, a point and, point and click game. Um, it is uh, Mage's Initiation, Reign of the Elements. Uh, looks like it pl uh, plays perfectly fine on the uh, on the Steam Deck, and um, you know that that's been my experience with the other point and click games. Uh, a few that I've I've tested on the One X player, but again, the great thing with the uh, Steam Deck is that you have that trackpad. And I find it so 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 much easier to use the trackpad than the uh, the joystick when it comes to moving the in-game mouse pointer around. So uh, so kudos to Valve for thinking of that because it is uh, it is a great improvement that mouse pad uh, or that trackpad I should say. So anyway, uh, I hope this helps, folks. Um, this does look like a fun little game. If you're if you're if you like point and click games, I, I think this will probably be uh, enjoyable. Um, again, if you're like me, I haven't played a lot of point and click games, but this this one seems like it'll be fun to go through. Uh, again, not with uh, perhaps you know not not as not as difficult or I should say uh, time intensive as some of my other games where you know I play weeks and months just to just to finish the game, uh, and or I'll get to a point in the game and I'll be like, you know what, I forgot what's going on, uh, I've, I've, I've lost track of everything, and I just re restart a game. So uh, anyway, I hope these videos are helpful, um, you know, that's why I'm doing them, and uh, you know, I'm glad you found my channel. If, if, these, if these videos are helpful, you know, please like, subscribe, uh, get notifications, leave comments, um, and uh, you know, I, I do try to respond to all the comments that are left, and you know, if you have game suggestions for me, or if you have questions or anything like that, I'm I'm happy to try to help. Um, always looking for new games um, to to play through. And uh, you know, if you don't like something about a video, you know, go ahead and drop a comment and just let me know. And uh, you know, if it's if it's uh, within my control, I'll certainly take a look. Um, if it's if it's just hey, if this isn't the best way to record. No, I I know that. <laughs> No, this is not the best way to record. Trust me, uh, I would record differently if I if I could. And maybe someday we'll be able to record uh, in gaming mode uh, through like OBS or something. Maybe hopefully somebody will come up with a easy easy way to to uh, record gameplay without buying something else, without buying like a capture card or having to do you know anything fancy. I want to be able just to click a button, record what I'm doing, and have it go somewhere, and hopefully that will be developed at some point in time. Um, anyway, it, it is it is still early. I'm, I'm hoping to get some other videos up today, but, but I guess we'll just see what happens. Um, anyway, uh, I hope everybody has a great day. Happy gaming, and uh, I'll see everybody later. Bye.